sprite sprite effects whoops as I mentioned in the previous tutorial you need to watch out for that it'll jump to 5 of 7 when we actually want 6 of 7 so make sure you take an effect on that scale comma sprite effects dot none comma 1.0 no 0 0.0 f okay so just so it stays in one line I'm going to press enter before new vector 2 now if we press F5, our rotation runs like it should, but our scale is not, it's just increasing and increasing and increasing, and we want it to do the bubble effect we saw. So the rotation was fine, but we do not want it to reach a very high value. We, we want the value to stay pretty low, because if we let it run for a while, we will end up with some issues. So I added an if statement if rotation is greater than or equal to math.pi times 2. Now if you're not familiar with the trigonometry, 2 times pi is a full rotation. Now we don't need the brackets. 2 times pi is 360 degrees. So that's a full rotation. And we just set that is equal to zero because 360 degrees is the same as saying the degree is zero. And two times pi is equal to zero. So that's we just keep the value between zero and two times pi. So that's for the rotation. Now for the scale, that will be a little bit tricky to determine. Now if we if scale I set it up as greater than 1.3. We do not want it to be pretty big so it will destroy the quality of the image. But we want it to, we want it to be ex pretty big so we notice a bubble effect. So I chose 1.3. And now that's delta scale. And we're just going to multiply that by negative 1. That just says, hey, we're going to go into a negative scale so we'll decrease now. But we don't want the scale to end up in the negative, so we add another else if. And we do not we do not want it to approach a zero value, so we just say is less than 0.4 or a value of your choice. Now if it's else of the, of that, we want to delta scale is equal to float. And what I do here is just say math.absolute value to make sure it is a positive delta scale. Now we could multiply by negative 1, but we are not 100% sure that that is going to be a negative value. So I just, to make sure, is absolute value it and set it as a float cast. And we will have a bubble effect now. Now our rotation is pretty fast, so let's go up and... Actually, they're both pretty fast, so let's look at there. Change rotation to 0 0.02 and scale to 0 0.005. Now you can modify with these values. We can set it up as like 2.0 f. You'll barely get to see it. You can barely see it rotate. <laughs> Just play around with these values until you find something you like. 0 0.02 and let's choose 0 0.1. There we go. That's pretty much in between. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It was a short tutorial just to show you how to add additional effects. Now you can apply these to anything. You can add a uh, acceleration which is basically delta velocity and just do the same thing or you can just do scale and rotation well that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it next tutorial we will work on displaying text and then the tutorial after that we will talk about distribution of your game 
and then we'll move on to the space shooter tutorial and the tower defense prequels which are pretty cool I might say and then just a few more weeks or a month I'll be finalizing the tower defense game and we'll be doing a full tutorial on that and you will not be disappointed I know it's been a long wait and I know you're anxious to try it but you will not be disappointed so hope to see you in the next tutorial